Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Are you looking for a way to switch from the Apple ID you are currently signed in to any other account you have? In this video, I will show you how to change the Apple ID on your iPhone. Let's go. The first step is to log out of your previous account if your iPhone is still signed into it. Open Settings. Click your name above and tap Sign Out at the bottom. Enter your Apple ID password and click Turn Off in the upper right corner to confirm. Before you sign out completely, you can enable the appropriate toggles for data like calendar, contacts, and more if you want to keep a copy of it on your device. Otherwise, leave them all unchecked and tap Sign Out to confirm. Once your device is no longer actively logged into an account, tap the Sign In button above the Settings main dashboard. Here you have two options, either log in to an existing account or create a new one. To create your new account, click Forgot Password or Don't Have an Apple ID, and select Create Apple ID. Next, enter your name and date of birth to continue. If you have an existing Google or Microsoft email address that you'd also like to use for your Apple ID, enter it in this text box. Otherwise, click Don't have an email address instead to create an Apple ID email using Apple's iCloud domain name. On the other hand, if you have an existing Apple ID, just enter your email and password respectively. Finally, provide the passcode you use to unlock your iPhone. After your new account is created or your existing Apple ID is verified, you should be automatically signed in. In case you choose to have your iPhone use the current account you just signed in with, be sure to unlink your device from the previous Apple ID you used. To do this, open your browser and go to appleid.apple.com. Check out the tag in the top right corner or use the link below. Click Sign In and enter your Apple ID email and password. When the dashboard loads, go to Account Security and select your iPhone from the list of trusted devices. Then scroll down and click Remove from Account to confirm. That's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!